The Sino is hot again. How hot? Madonna and her cast are wearing it in her latest video. The eccentric label has had new live breathe into it thanks to Jeremy Scott, who himself is known as fearless throughout the industry. WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley spoke to Jeremy Scott and she joins us here on lunch break. Hi, Christina. Hi, nice to see you. So Jeremy Scott has brought an A-list following to Machino. I mean, who can forget Katy Perry at this year's Super Bowl, right? Yeah, you know, this is all, uh, many of the, the kind of kooky looks that we've seen on a lot of particularly music stars recently um, are coming from him. If you've seen somebody wearing a Looney Tunes ball gown, uh, it's a Jeremy Scott design for Moschino. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this store that he's about to open in New York. Yeah, Moschino's down, it's down on Worcester Street. It's in Soho. This is the, the second store that they've opened that um, is really, since the brand has been under Jeremy Scott's direction. You know, Moschino, by the way, is a brand that's been around since the, the uh, 70s. Franco Moschino founded it, and, and he was a kind of a, a kooky, crazy guy himself. Um, died of complications from AIDS many years ago, and the and the brand has been pretty sleepy since then until two years ago. So this new store is going to open down on, on on Worcester Street. I think they're going to need crowd control when they do the opening. This brand has such a cult following. People get dressed up in, uh, you know, McDonald's French fry dresses and um and and go out to see to see the shows. So Jeremy Scott really has a lot of fun at this. Obviously, uh, you mentioned in your column that he simply likes making people laugh. Yeah, you know, I actually asked him why he thought that, that he's had this sort of impact on the brand, and that's exactly what he said. People want to have some fun. There's a lot of serious things going on in the world, and, and he doesn't mind mixing it up and getting a little bit crazy. This is a guy who did part of a collection based on SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, so, and, and, and we're not talking inexpensive. This is not cheap clothing. This is, this is really beautiful Italian-made designer wear. And tell me about a film that's going to be hitting theaters uh, in September about him. Yeah, you, we are all going to learn a lot more about Jeremy Scott. There's a documentary that, that's going to debut in September um, and hit theaters um, pretty widely in, in, later in the month of September about him, his origins on a Missouri farm. He actually went back to his grandparents' farm for part of the filming of this thing. Um, of course, it carries forward with all his very dear friends, Rihanna, Madonna, Katy Perry, MIA is that the whole uh, the whole the whole gang and and is he really as eccentric as everyone says Christina no, <laughs> he's not. He's a really nice guy. I, you know, frankly, I think he's very down to earth and very frank. He's willing to take risks in his fashions. But you know, people have actually accused him of being un of creating unwearable clothes. Truth is, his clothes are very wearable. As he pointed out to me, you can sit down in a car in his fashions, and there's a lot of high fashion that you really can't do that in. It's just these crazy colors and prints. People don't expect to find cartoons and fast food on high fashion and, and evening gowns. All right. Thanks for joining us, Christina. My pleasure.